Good evening and welcome to the BA in Honour Social Care Practice um, Information Session. My name is Teresa Brown and I'd like to talk to you for the next 10 minutes or so about our programme here in Athlone Institute of Technology. Um, maybe just to start um, to let you know that the programme is delivered by um, a team of lecturers that are subject experts um, in each of their modules. We um, are a team that adopt a student-centered approach um, in the delivery um, of the program BA Honours in Social Care Practice. So just a little about the social care programs that we have um, in AIT. The program I'm going to talk about um, this evening is the BA Honours in Social Care Practice, and that's a four-year full-time level eight program. And you apply to for that program via the CAO. We also have the BA in Applied Social Studies in Social Care, and that's a three-year full-time level seven program. And finally, the BA in Applied Social Care, and that's a four and a half year part-time program. And that's, you apply for that program via AIT. So a common question that students may ask um, when trying to decide what course to, to take is what actually is social care? So social care workers are a professional practitioners that are engaged in the practice of social care work. And social care work is a relationship based approach to practice. So social care workers are employed in a range of services. So examples of the services would be disability services, youth at risk, family support, we residential care for young people, they secure care in Tusla under the Child Protection and Welfare or in Tusla on, under the Child Prevention and Partnership Programs, Community Projects, Mental Health Services and Addiction and Homeless Services. So there's a wide variety um, of areas that social care workers um, are employed in. So who might be interested in um, a social care course? So the applicants that tend to gravitate towards social care are usually people that are interested in working with people or working alongside people. Um, they're motivated in maybe wanting to help or support or empower people. They are very open to looking at themselves or sharing things about themselves in, in classes. And they have an interest in others. They have um, a sense of empathy for people that encounter challenges in their life. Um, and they're usually people that want a, a really, the job satisfaction is a very important element of um, a career that they want to be involved in. So the next question then, based on we've looked at where social care workers work. We looked at the previous slide in, you know, the type of students that like or are attracted to study social care. So we look now at the, the modules um, that you study on our four year level eight course. So the first module, and it's a module that students study in first, second, third and fourth year is the module professional social care practice. And this module is very interesting module because this is the module that really looks at all the areas of social care that the social care worker would maybe work in. So we would look at maybe residential care, foster care and um, the homeless services. But it, how we look at these services, then we look at the core foundation or the core skills social care workers use and work with is the relationship. So a lot of the teachings on those modules um, are based on um, 
relationship based practice with different service users and understanding um, maybe how some of these services work together and work independently. Another module then is one I think, in my experience, the students really enjoy, and that's the practice placement. And the practice placement is an opportunity where our students get to go out and link the theory. So they link what we're learning, they're learning in class with us to the practice, the social care practice. Group dynamics and collaborative practice is another module. Children's rights and family law, sociology and social policy, disability studies, um, using art, drama and recreation when working with people. There we call them the kind of the creative modules. We, the students also study management, social psychology, the psychology of mental health, counseling and psychotherapy and research methods. So how is the course structured? So this is a full-time honours degree programme and it's taught over four years. And each academic year is split into two semesters. So you'd have semester one, which would be around 12 weeks and semester two was around 12 weeks. Modules are taught over three hours per week or six hours per week. So students would attend approximately 18 hours per week of lectures. Our student attendance is monitored um, weekly. And if there's any concerns or issues with attendance, we, we deal with those issues as they present. And we, we deal with them in a very supportive manner because there could be various reasons why students cannot attend. So we would meet with the student and see if we can offer any support or if there's any area that we need to address as a team of lecturers. So students complete um, 800 hours of practice placement over the, the four years. And finally, in terms of the structure of the course, the assessment is a mix of exams and continuous assessments. So what kind of assessments then do we use on our programme? We have a variety um, of assessments. We have the end of semester exams. Now the weighting on these exams vary. For some module, the final year exam could be 40%, but it would be with an assessment that is 60%. So it varies between 40 and 100% the end of year exams. And the continuous assessments, the weighting on, on the assessments could be anything between 10% and 60%. So our assessments then are essays, presentations, group projects, in-class assessments, quizzes, individual projects, posters. So we have a variety of um, assessments instruments um, that we use. So you will get a chance in, in different modules um, because maybe different modules would use um, different types of assessments. So the next area I'd like to talk to you about is again, what I'd said previously, um, it's a, a, a core component of our program and that's the practice placement. So practice placement or work experience um, happens in year two. And that placement is over an eight week period. And the second placement on the four year program is in year three, and that lasts 15 weeks. So that all adds up to 1800 hours in total. So how our placement and um, practice placement system works is that the lecturing team a member of the lecturing team would meet with the student individually and together we would identify possible placement choices for the student. So the student might, an example, would maybe have an interest in going into addiction services. So the lecturer and the student together then would try and identify a service that would be willing to take our student and would be very open to working alongside us with um, the student. So it's very much a partnership approach um, to identifying placement. 
And then when the student is on placement during that eight week period, there is contact with the, the college, with AIT staff and support can be provided, even though the student maybe is not on site in terms of um, visits, phone calls, and on placement as well, then the student also has um, a supervisor on placement. So we have, we call, what we call it is like a, a three-way meeting. We have the student, we have the placement supervisor, and then we have the lecture. So the three of us together, like it's kind of like a triangular approach, um, would work together to ensure the student um, enjoys the placement and has lots of good learning opportunities. So at the end of the placement, then after at the end of the two placements, um, we have to ensure that the student has developed all the knowledge and skills that are clearly set out in um, the KORU assessment framework. And we'll talk a little bit more about KORU um, maybe just in the, in the last slide. So after your four years with us in AIT on the BA on our social care practice, some students are interested then maybe to stay on and do um, one of our master programs. So we have two masters. We have an MA in child and youth studies, and that's a one year full time. And we then have an MA in advanced social care practice, which is a part time program. Some students choose to go out and work in the sector for a couple of years and then come back um, and do the MA. But we will discuss all those options um, or choices with you maybe in the final year of the programme. So the entry requirements. So if you look at page 70 of our prospectus, um, you will see all the details needed um, to answer those questions. But just to let you know that last year, the cutoff point was, the cutoff for points was 300. So if there's any other questions or anything we can help you with to um, give you more information about our BA Honours um, four-year programme, maybe you can just email us in AIT, um, myself, Teresa Brown, or our Head of Department, Oliver Hegarty. So just before I end this um, short presentation, we'd like to um, thank you for listening to us here and we look forward to maybe meeting you sometime in the future. And maybe just to recommend, um, because I, I am a social care worker myself, a social care worker that's in education um, the last number of years, that's the social care profession at the moment, it's a very exciting time because there's lots of positive changes happening. Um, and the main, the, the big positive change that we're all working together with um, KURU, the regulatory body, is that we will now in the very, very near future have, um, we, a social care worker will be a protected title. We will have a, a, a very professional regulated profession that has will very much have a very clear identity so we're looking forward to this it's it's exciting times ahead because there's been lots of work um, undertaken on this in the last number of years so we look forward to seeing you in hopefully you will join us here in AIT on our BA on our social care practice program thank you very much <laughs>